Okay, so basically, what happened is... I managed to lose a save. I mean, something happened, I don't know, maybe I got over it. Basically, it's gone. By that time, I decided to go do side quests, you know, because I had lost everything. So we get, so we went to the forest, fought Wongs, also. We ended up un unintentionally getting the chicken, uh, side quest, the bronze quest, which is mainly 15 relations. Right, so, but, you know, they work belts. There are Wongs in the forest, you can find them. And I got the first rank, and the first rank of the wolf one. Uh, the wolf one, usually because it doesn't like something wolf sandwiches. Which the story out it being empty. Okay. But the Warg Helmet is the utility which I will be putting on Johnny. The second rank of the Warg full side quest gives you the Warg Cape, which I'm putting on Francis. Just give me some Anyway, third rank of Warg Full is the Warg Purse. Along with the second wing of the wolf, which can be the uh, wolf amulet. Uh, the wolf amulet just gives you a lot of uh, strength, critical, and speed. Manual at least. One good thing about the warg stuff is that it uh, it's fairly easy to get. Gives you a nice little boost early, which is why it's good to start doing it with that. Uh, they all generally give strength and critical evasion to speed, which makes them good to have on any character. I also went to the castle town and bought a bunch of, a bunch of stuff since I earned a lot more money. And it was a much higher level. Which made things a lot simpler. And then I bought a bunch of other powers. Check that one tower here, there's actually a bunch of stuff in there. But wasn't able to get any of it at that point. We'll do these new stuff. And high level. The crystal fight went a lot smoother. Like a lot, lot smoother. should be the actual new episode. Greetings! I'm going to start off with saying that in a re fairly recent update, uh, the title screen was changed. And that was just, you know, bug fixes. So I was going to go right back in there. Now last time, as you know, I had to redo everything, but you already saw the intro thing, so why am I explaining this? We'll never know, but, uh, where is it? Magic Crystal. That is actually not an accessory. It's an item that lets you get to a place that has the accessory. But, we can't take what's there. I mean, maybe we could, but... I'd rather have ever get XP instead of one person who barely survived. So instead... We're going to actually progress the story. A novel concept, I know, but still, gotta do it. Hmm. Oh, I know where that one is, okay. But, anywho, up here is where I was grinding in the wargs. For the wargs, not in the wargs. That'd be. That'd be weird. But this is actually a secret out here, and a form of this tree. I purposely made sure to f not find it. Gives out some honestly pretty decent super massy old massy old one's pretty nice. The problem is these all take a lot to equip. I doubt we can even equip any of those. Uh, I didn't get 
anything for you. Yeah. Takes two, which means we can't use it. Uh, drop that. Put that on. Come in handy. And golden thunder. It's a single hunt. I'll drop that, actually. Okay! So you're probably wondering, where are we even supposed to be going? Well, I'll show you soon! As soon as I get back to the river town and heal. Into the end I go. Monologuing is not funny. It should not be done. Ever. Now they're describing what you're doing, but the first thing we'll do is head over here and fight this. And this is basically what we're going to be doing with a little bit. So. A little bit soon, really? Am I even trying? I don't think so anymore. But orcs. They're orcs. Astounding commentary, I know, but there's really nothing much you can say about them other than what they are. These guys have stuff. It's basically all the stuff you can get in Castletown. And yeah, basically just Castletown stuff, but discounted. So not worth a while to buy. But, yeah. So I want to go this way, because we can... i pretty sure even if we could go that way, we'd die instantly, so... Let's see... What? As we enter the forest... We enter Chapter 3! Yes, Chapter 2 is literally nothing. Well, Episode. Fine. And Episode 3 is just this dungeon. But as you'd guess, this place... This is Zelda 1. Just gonna point that out. Completely with secrets out the ass. And they chime every time you open a treasure chest. Well, this place is, if you had gone there immediately, it might have been a little bit tougher, but right now it's no problem. We also have not rubies, I don't know, collectible things that might glow, they give you money, I believe. Is it in this screen or is it in the other one? It was a fairly difficult to get secret. Was it a secret? Or is it just a thing? Hmm. Secret or thing? A question of ages. But 
around here there is something. That's all I can really say. This guy sells us important things. Including the dungeon key. Uh-huh. Okay, it's gotta be the screen of the other. Oh, these plants. I don't like these plants. They're surprisingly effective. Yeah, those are the ones that have the gas. Uh, okay, that means that's the exit. Not the exit, but... A ladder point. A halfway point? That's all it's... Hmm. I need to stop having philosophical debates in my head every now and then when I'm trying to record, you know? Hi, Error. We get the key to a missing name. It's house. Also, probably should explain now. Probably wondering why, uh, why I don't have Ed Boy here with me. Well, every now and then we gotta do something solo. Because I started this series solo, I should have attacked the mage. So the start of the series solo, we may as well finish it. And that and Ed Boy's starting the game himself. And naturally does not want to be spoiled. Of the game's rich plot. Look at how rich this plot is. So rich you could stick your hands into the plot. And I don't know where I'm going with this analogy. Someplace too bad for DeviantArt, probably. I'm just spreading all the damage out. Okay, there we go. Alright, John is nearly dead. Cool. Your fucking jelly wings. Uh, wait. Battle axe? Cool. Hmm. Well, it's better. And here's a secret. The fairy in a jar. Don't I already have... Yep. Damn. I wasted money with... I m wasted money. I've been trying so hard to make sure I didn't buy something that was already going to be given to me in a secret. Damn it. Nah. This is great. I'm just spreading all the damage out. So it'll be as ill-efficient as possible. What an amazing strategy. Make the enemy think they have the upper hand. Because they do. found that one thing yet. I'm pretty sure it's by the riverside, isn't it? It's gonna try this. Why the hell is it not showing up? I swear it's here. something. Mm. I 
I swear, you yeah, know, show up. At, not that the puzzle is, but it'll show up. If you don't have that. No puzzle. I must sound insane right now, just kind of mumbling to myself. That's that. Mm. For those that are wondering, I'm, I'm trying to get something to appear. Problem is, it's not. This is causing some problems. Double Orc Axe. It's another upgrade, whatever. Maybe I was right at first and it was down here. There! Ha! Uh, the puzzle here is, occasionally, you have to have a certain party member lead. In this case, it's Mikey Boy. And he gets taught healing song. Which is a much more cost efficient, uh. thing. S -s -s power! Ah! Yeah, it also wakes them all up. But it is a lot less than that. But it also costs far less, so it's generally worth it early on. I knew it was there! I knew Ugh. Alright, now we can finally head up to it to pass where this insane save is. I reckon. Is it? No, I'd have to go past the chicken house and stuff like that. That's a square girl. May as well do what the game says and save. And get into another fight anyway. I'm just making all the poor decisions right now, aren't I? I think I managed to do n near a killing blow. Really. I can literally one shot all of them, and I didn't do it to any of them. It's a marvel of inefficiency. Magical. Anywho. Oh, you get the grappling hook too? Ah! But anyway, the way you can tell that is because of the arrow. Okay, what's down here? Okay. And this is a short little my little fight. It's not really a boss. But it's not really a random encounter either. It's best to take him out as quickly as possible and not, you know, don't really give him a chance.
And yeah. Oh. Not really to have to go out of an encounter. It's slightly tougher. Right, so I get a lot of rations. And this is kind of close to the entrance of level, of level 1. But if we didn't buy the key, we'd have to go back and buy it. And now we have jelly. Jelly is not very difficult to kill. You know? I mean, it's just jelly, to be fair, but you get a lot of jelly beans. So we need the Biforce to go fight Orcus. So basically, two sides of the dungeon. We have to go to both of them. A.K.A. Time for some puzzles. Thankfully, these are extremely easy. Let's see. Wasn't it? Go up here first? Yes! Pressing the button uh, undoes all the other buttons. We have to press the button to get to make the other buttons actually do something, which opens opens that door. Was it open a secret? I don't know. It's been too long. I barely remember. But I'm pretty sure that's how it works, and if it's not, oh well. That's how I do it. Look, I mean, it's a big red button. You gotta press it. I mean, really, it would be criminal to not press the big red button. Anyway, another puzzle. This one's slightly more difficult, I guess. I mean, it's kind of a hindsight trick, you know? I love me some puzzles. I think there's a secret in this room. I don't remember where. Canon, actually. Hmm. There's certain. There's gotta be. There it is. And now we have the Master Walk Sword. You know, the thing we could have bought. But I said not to. Ups our MP, but drops our strength by a bit, so... I'm gonna keep using the Double Orc Axe. Alright, Nigel. Nigel, you failed. You couldn't even do 40 damage. Ah, uh, these are always fun. But guarding this half of the Biforce is an ancient being.
A being of unimaginable power. So important has the final boss theme play. Is really old. Yeah, so we were just kind of a dick there. And believe it or not, yeah, the game thinks of that. You can't go there unless you come back. But on the other half, we have an entirely different trial. Stop doing that. Ah! <laughs> Can't even do anything. Ugh. I need to learn how to select things correctly. But I believe if we don't bring the bat in, the candle in, it won't even let you go through. So you have to bring that. Or is it just be a lot harder than it needs to be? Either way, not a fun time. So yeah, those guys will attack you. Honestly, I say I've got I'm leveled enough. They don't have to bother intentionally fighting these guys. But I don't believe there's any random encounters here. Just ones you can find. Walking in front of the statues, as you'd guess, would initiate a fight, and that bad is cleverer than most. More, more clever, not cleverer. I smart. As you can barely, obviously, tell by the fact that I can't select enemies correctly. Wear a helmet? Probably not as good. But as you probably expect, I'm very greedy. I must collect everything. Couldn't avoid the jelly. <laughs> Level one person's crit is. That was gonna be painful. Yeah, you can one shot him. Amazing. I'm just trapped here, aren't I? Gotta kill all the jelly before I'm allowed out. Well, at least one can survive. It's worse than being, out, being outsmarted by an AI from an RPG Maker game. Outsmarting you. Yeah. Let's see. So that leads me right back there. And this bat's gonna make things complicated. Uh, 
Ugh. Whatever, lose another, you know, like the all right dudes. Like, I'll be merciful and do most of my grinding off screen if I ever need to do any. Come on, Jingle, hurry up! I don't believe there's a secret in here. Although, then again, it's also been a while. Yeah, so actually you have to go back through this corridor. And I believe that leads us back up here. Alright. Second half. There's a lot of slime over there. Yeah, whatever. Works. It still worked. So I have to go this way. Yeah. I mean, this isn't that tough. I mean, it's just bats. Be kind of interesting. If you really, really need to avoid these guys, like, they are way stronger than they should be. That'd be kinda cool. I'd also be kinda screwed, but, oh well. Or, like, only the slimes were super overpowered or something. Get a twist on how Dragon Quest does everything with slimes being, you know, equivalent to shit. My greed knows no bounds. Apparently something in family power falls up ahead. Believe it or not, there's actually a way to make the to make that guardian come back. And that's one of the game's super bosses. But, we are the Biforce. And now are allowed to go forward. One final stretch. And boss. <sighs> Anywho, he's a wizard, so that'll be more effective. We'll take care of the Orky buses quickly, because they're strong. Yeah, how do you start working on him? Eradicate him. But Orcus is honestly pretty easy. Whittle him down. Yeah, this is no problem.
Orcus's minions are extremely weak. And Orcus himself is not much better. Uh, that attack is fairly dead. dead. What? Nothing we can't handle. The fact they clap harder when he tells them they suck is great. Fetch quests. Really, I can just be quiet and let this game speak for itself. At least during cutscenes. And if that chapter 3 is done in... Episode 5. We're now in episode 4. But believe it or not, there's one last thing we need to do. Well, two technically. And next time, I'll show it off. See you then.